AI, very simply put, it's got one simple function, and that is to multiply human capacity. Now, that sounds really interesting and very fearful simultaneously. I think people are scared of what's to come. I think economists are bewildered of what's happening because nobody can really predict the future of whose jobs are going to go away, what fields are going to go away. But what we do know is AI is going to make a difference at the bottom of the food chain, but also the top. So law firms are now using AI. Coders are now not being put out of work, but now you've got ChatGBT and other things, we'll talk about that in a minute, that you can now do your coding on. So coders are not as critical as they once were. But here's the frightening part and the very scientific sci-fi part of this. It was once predicted that the singularity is near. And if you're not familiar with the term singularity, it means that artificial intelligence will be smarter than human intelligence. And that's where robots and, and things come into play and you think, uh-oh, is artificial intelligence gonna take over the world? Again, AI has been around for a long time. Even those sensors in your car that determine that rain is coming in your windshield wipers, that's all part of artificial intelligence. However, because of all this content, all this data that we've had access to over the last 20 years, all the information about our heart rates and, and the wearables that we've had, this data has all been collected. And now, computers are able to process faster and smarter. Now, let me tell you, let's talk about what this means for democracy or democratizing opportunity for people. There was a study done at the University of Pennsylvania where they took a group of individuals who were educated at the University of Pennsylvania and other individuals in their young 20s who never had the chance to go to college. And they gave them all sorts of assignments to use ChatGBT. Now, you could have gone to University of Pennsylvania, been an English major, you're a brilliant writer. But now what ChatGBT does is it democratizes the opportunity for that individual that maybe didn't have the opportunity to go to school, maybe they're not as a great of writer overall. And so this is where things start to shift. And we start to figure out ways that we can benefit from the intelligence, the artificial intelligence that is happening, as long as we understand that there are ethical questions that need to be addressed.